A knife was inserted into the woman's toes. She fell to the ground in agony as her toes separated with a crisp crack of bone. All this was seen by her autistic daughter. Zen, despite her autism, is a rare martial arts prodigy. Everything that moves is as slow as a turtle to her. She can catch balls and knives with her hands. She can memorize moves and training methods after watching a kung fu movie for a second. In the movie, someone was driving a stake, so she made her own stake out of a quilt. Then she trained in martial arts 24 hours a day. It wasn't long before Zen could easily beat the chubby moon. Instead of eating her mom's fruits, she used them for her martial arts training. As spring and fall passed, Zen grew up. She and Moon performed martial arts on the street to help support the family. But then suddenly, a knife flew from afar and Zen caught it in her hand. Moon yelled at someone for being so unethical. It was the local gangsters. Moon saw the situation and tried to take Zen away. Of course, they weren't going to let them get away so easily. Zen's no coward. She kicks the shit out of him. Even with her throat in a chokehold, she's able to get out of the way and beat her opponent. The other gangsters swarmed around her to save him. Zen skillfully dodged their attacks and used their strength to knock down a few of them. When the gangster tried to attack her, Zen hit him with a flying kick to the carotid artery and ended the fight. Zen made a name for herself, but they could no longer perform martial arts on the streets because the punks would smash their props every time they saw them. To add insult to injury, Zen's mom was diagnosed with cancer. She was hospitalized for a while and soon spent all her savings and had to go home to recuperate. While the two of them were at their wit's end, Moom accidentally stumbled upon her mom's account book and found a list of people who owed her money. So they followed the address and found the people who owed their mom money. When they saw the two kids trying to collect, they threw them out. Zen didn't stop demanding money from Baldhead. The bald guy threw an abacus in her face. Zen's anger flared up. Moom pulled Zen away. In the middle of the night, Zen got more and more angry, so she went to Baldhead again to ask for money. Being knocked down by one of his men, Zen suddenly remembered a martial arts move from a movie. As she lay on the ground, she thought of her mom's pale face again and her anger flared up. She's going to fight again. As she recalls the martial arts moves, she strikes quickly. She shouted as she fought, as if she was possessed by Bruce Lee. One by one, his men come up to fight with her, but they are all knocked down by Zen. After Zen has defeated his men, Baldi tries to attack her from behind. Zen hit him with a roundhouse kick, and then a side kick that made him lose consciousness and was frouncing in eyes. That's how Zen received her first payment. At this moment, she realized that the only way to deal with these scumbags is to be tough. Every kung fu movie the girl watches, she has to rewind it to learn every move. Every time she ate a candy, she had to make a quick move to practice her shadowless hands. Sun Zin was practicing her kung fu and ready to start collecting debts. When she and Moom arrived at the wood factory, they expected the owner to pay up. However, the boss was also a scoundrel and even threw the money back to his men. He said, if you want the money, go get it yourself. The boss's men treat Moom like a monkey, throwing the money bag around, until Zin grabbed the bag and kicked him in the face. It's a dangerous hornet's nest, so the two of them flee into the warehouse. Zen uses her small size to fight guerrilla warfare in the warehouse. Some gangsters got to the locker. Zen kicks them directly in the balls and hits them in the head. After sending them into the locker, she slammed the door. His men continue to pursue them. Zen kills them one by one again. The boss arrives and throws a wooden mat at her. Zen dodges the mattress with a perfect slide. Then she kicks the boss in the forehead, knocking him unconscious against the glass. But the money they got from debt collection was only enough to pay for a week's hospitalization. They could only hide it from their mom. They pretend nothing happens during the day and go out to collect debts at night. But when mom saw Zen's injuries, she realized everything. She questioned their behavior. She'd rather die of the illness than let them fight to collect the debt. In the end, Moom had to promise her that he wouldn't do it again, but it soon found a gangster on his own. However, something went wrong when he went there. A gangster caught Moom and found out where Zen's mother was. It turns out Zen's mom was the right hand of the time up boss, but she fell in love with a Japanese mob boss named Masashi. Zen's father, then she betrayed the gang for love. So time mob boss found her and cut off her hamstring and deported Masashi back to Japan. This time Zen hit his doorstep, so time mob boss sent his men to wipe out the whole family. Masashi, who was in Japan, got wind of the plan and sent his men to protect them. Masashi's men realized that the mother and daughter were not in the room, and Taima boss sent his men to the door. 
So he ambushes the room and plans to kill them all. The wolf has a winning game when the shepherds quarrel. The Thai mob boss proudly gave Ma Sashi a letter of war. Ma Sashi traveled to Thailand for his wife and daughter. When Zin learns of Moon's capture, he takes Zin to rescue him. But Zin was taken away by the Thai mob boss during the fight. Zin faced down scenes of gangsters and fought them without fear. In the end, she used a flying knee kick to defeat all the gangsters. But then a young boy named Monkey King came out. He was called that because his moves were hard to figure out and he was very fast. His opponents were often knocked to the ground before they could see his moves. But in the eyes of Zen, a martial arts genius, the Monkey King's movements became extremely slow. It took Zen less than a minute to learn his tricks. Not only could she dodge his quick attacks, she could also stop his next move in time. The Monkey King was knocked down by the exact same move as him. After three seconds, they both get up and fight again. This time Zen's Kung Fu is better. She spins in the ear a few times and kicks the Monkey King down and spits out blood. At that moment, a man came slowly through the door. He was Zen's father, Masashi. The gangsters are swarming around him with samurai swords. The man pulls out a gun and shoots at his enemies. When he runs out of bullets, he starts to fight. He can hit a gangster with a single slash. Zen also breaks free from the Tai Mob boss. Tai Mob boss and Masashi's old grudge will be set up today. Tai Mob boss's men are once again using siege tactics. While the couple is fighting the enemy, Tai Mob boss is planning a surprise attack. Zen didn't hesitate to stand in front of Masashi. After years of separation, their reunion was a farewell. Soon after, Masashi fell to the ground. Zen regained her strength, and with a sheath in each hand, she defeated her enemies with a single move. She was able to defeat them all with his enemies. But then the Tai Mob boss took her mom away. Moom appeared in time to save her. And then came the most outrageous scene. Zen dodges the bullets and spins around twice, hitting the Tai Mob boss so hard, he can't tell north from south. Tai Mob boss turns around and runs away from an enraged Zen. He took one step along the wall and turned his head back three times. Zen follows and kicks him down the stairs. The boss's man rushed to support her, but she kicked them all down the stairs. Then she grabbed a man's foot and spun it 180 degrees to defeat him with a flying kick. At that moment, the fiercest fighters came to defend him. Zen jumped to the opposite side of the light board. Here comes another ridiculous scene. The Tai Ma boss is now without help. Zen hit him in the head a few times and then threw him down from the fourth floor. Leaving him in pieces, she finally got her revenge. When Zen returned to the rooftop, her mother wasn't breathing. She was crying like a child. Masashi came and held her in his arms. In the end, the father and daughter retired to the woods and went back to Japan to live an ordinary life. The title of this movie is Chocolate and the plot is relatively violent. Zen is an autistic child, God closes one door while opening another one for you. As Zen is involved in a previous generation's feud, the movie is a fight for the sake of fighting. However, the female leads face in action scenes are very good, which adds some highlights to the movie.